it makes me feel really bad for the youth that do count on the TSA. A question on every dollar donated, as Tri-State Alliance hasn't been a nonprofit since last year, according to the U.S. government. IRS filings show TSA had its 501c3 status automatically revoked in May 2017 for not filing a 990 document for three consecutive years. According to the National Council of Nonprofits, federal law requires automatic revocation after three years of failed filings. There are no exceptions. TSA is under the microscope after allegations the organization misused money. What kind of misconduct has not been released, but it leads a lot to the imagination to wonder. Maxwell Heaton isn't a TSA member, but he is involved in the LGBT community of Evansville. He feels for people who may not know what to do. But there are so many youths that are in these weakened positions that need help, that are seeking out someone, someone please help. And with these allegations of misconduct, it makes me wonder, are, are they safe there? Organizations are subject to back taxes if their nonprofit status is revoked. Donors also aren't eligible for tax deductions after the revocation date. TSA's last filing was for 2016 with $112,000 in revenue. Since TSA lost its 501c3, it has held several fundraisers, including one of its biggest, the Celebrity Dinner. Hundreds of people regularly show up for the HIV benefit. It would take an effort from TSA to get its nonprofit status back. The IRS does not list a reinstatement date. Heaton and his small group, called Gender Warriors, want to be a listening ear for anyone who needs it. My plan is to continue to be available for whoever needs me, however they need me, whenever they need me.